There are two um, really powerful themes that we see throughout scripture. And um, they are a theme that invites us to understand who we are in God and to help us understand what the way of God is. And that's the theme of covenant and the theme of kingdom, the invitation into a covenant relationship with God and to be part of the coming of God's kingdom. And there's a really simple tool that we can use to, to understand that more deeply. So firstly, as we think of covenant, covenant is an invitation into deep relationship. And um, so for covenant, you have this identity modeled by Jesus towards the father um, or parent, you may say matua here in this land. And the identity that we have comes from our belonging to the Father. This is what we see in Jesus all the time. Jesus' identity comes from his Father. And as a result of that identity, we have this life of obedience. I only do what I hear my Father telling me to do. I follow in the path of my Father's voice. And this is the way that we healthily form our own self-identity. We are children of God by a complete gift and grace. Nothing we have done enables that relationship. That is a gift from God, our identity as children of God. And out of the overflow of that identity has a heart's desire to be obedient, to listen to the voice of God and to act out of that knowledge of God speaking to us. And sadly, in our, in our broader culture, often what we find happening is that we try and go this way around and we think that if we do the things that we're supposed to do by works and striving, if I pray, if I read my Bible, if I serve, if I do whatever it is that I need to do in the kingdom, that's how I've gained my identity, then we are operating outside of the flow of God's grace. We're working in our own strength, forming our identity by the works of God. And that's um, not the message of Christ. The message of Christ is that of God's free will, we are children of God. And it is out of the overflow of our hearts and our love that we um, operate in relationship to God. So this um, covenant could also um, be called our relationship. Oops. So in scripture, in the Christian tradition, we are invited into a relationship with God. But also um, in that deep intimacy of relationship, we're also invited into um, kingdom. And I'm going to call this one responsibility. We can take upon ourselves the same responsibility that Christ took upon himself. This balance of relationship and responsibility. So here... You may have a, a, a king, ruler, or sovereign. And from that, um, or that, that rule, that sovereignty comes authority. Authority is derived, delegated, given by the kingdom, by the ruler, by the sovereign. Jesus says, all authority on heaven and on earth has been given to me. Again, this is a work of gift and grace, not of our own doing. And as a consequence of that authority comes works of power. So the power of God, the spirit of God is upon me. The power of God, the works and the wonders of Jesus and then of the church that comes from this overflow the authority is given by gift and grace, and out of that, again, comes power. But as in the first covenant, we also are very, very tempted to go this way around, to take power or to use signs of power as a demonstration of our authority. Um, and that, again, is to work and to strive, which is the opposite of the gospel of grace given to us in Jesus Christ. So to be part of God's kingdom and God's covenant um, is 
a kind of double helix, as it were, our DNA of what it means to be the people of God, to be people of profound depth of belonging and identity freely given in God. We are part of the family of God and we inherit the family business. And the family business is the kingdom of God. And we receive that kingdom through gift and through grace. We work in the flow of God, the flow of the Holy Spirit. And it is through that flow that power comes. None of it is of our own doing. It is all in response to God's direction, God's initiative and God's gift of the Spirit within us.